Hello and welcome back to Master of Orion Conquer the Stars, where in the last episode we joined the war um, with the with, with a Sakura that the Murklas uh, sort of um, pulled us in. Um, which made me very sad, of course. Uh, I, I mean, it was all planned and stuff. Um, no, seriously. Um, so, in the, in the last episode we took a large part of their of their planets, including probably some of their most important ones, especially their home system. Also, Imra Prime and Satyrod Prime aren't aren't too bad either, but I guess they also have other interesting planets, like here back on ne Neptunus and stuff, so... <clears throat> but um, I, I think I don't have any real reason to just have them continue existing. Which is a sad thing to sad thing to admit, but it's uh, it's it's uh, it's like that. Anyway, I'm gonna keep a few of my frigates here again so that they can take out the troop transports before they decide to do anything interesting, and also in order to move the main fleet up here before the Maclaws just decide to bomb everything. So let's keep some of the frigates here, like the top four guys maybe. And the rest will come over there. Alright. So you can go here. Can you take out the troop transports before they flee? Thank you. Technically the troop transports could just go back to the home planet and attack it. They don't need any military ships in order to do that. I don't think the AI actually does that though, so... um. Just saying, technically, if uh, if I had just ignored them, they would be able to just uh, retake their planet because there is no infantrists there. The infantrists of mine that uh, sort of participated in the fight, they're just gone. They're not there as sort of... Uh, the, the, the remainder of them is not just there for some defense action. They're all gone. So, um, well, actually, we, uh, we've done our research, so let's choose between plasma torpedoes and plasma web. Um... I have been using torpedoes to some extent in this in this game, as as you saw. So I'll continue to get better torpedoes. The plasma weapon um, can be used. Uh, the, the plasma weapon. The plasma web can be used to um, engulf an area in a plasma web, and everything that passes through there gets periodically damaged, which is a neat idea, but not really that efficient. Technically, um, if we're up against a big a big shit swarm of frigates, like. I'm, I'm not talking 10 or 20, I'm talking hundreds of frigates. Yeah, I've seen that happen in one game against the AI. I was up against the Mechlar, who pretty much had multiple hundred frigates in a fight once. Um, I would imagine they're pretty effective with just laying down uh, all around your ships and then uh, having the frigates pass through them. So, I think there's some use for them, but uh, unless unless the AI, the AI goes full crazy on frigates, so you'll probably want to go with plasma torpedoes. Because they're just better torpedoes. With each new discovery, then... All right. No, I don't want to upgrade the torpedoes yet. We don't have any any uh, any um, any upgrades for that yet. Uh, any miniaturization upgrades? I mean, do we have some spare space? It seems so. Uh... No, let's let's keep them as is. Although I'm not any actually using any any miniaturizations. Why am I not using semi-guided? Am I crazy? Well, not, not enough space. <laughs> Alright. Torpedoes also have some modifiers that you can use, like semi-guided, which enable them to have l very limited homing capabilities, which makes them slightly more effective against things like cruisers and destroyers. Won't won't enable them to kill frigates, but um, against cruisers and destroyers you'll have a much better chance with semi-guided. And you can also have them overloaded, which increases their cooldown and their size a little bit, but doubles their weapon damage, so it's probably worth it. Anyway, I haven't really done that. You can also make it faster. don't think that's worth it, but, well. Technically, if, if, if they're faster, the enemy has less time to move out of the way, so that could be helpful, I guess. So, uh, plasma torpedoes. Okay, then let's install five freaking plasma torpedoes. I don't give a damn. Right. Good. We don't have enough space here yet, sadly. All right. Because I wanted to install hard shields on the battleships too, but I uh, don't want to reduce the m number of missiles either. So, all right. 
You'll only need one turn to get here, right? And join the force here. You're gonna need two turns to get there. Okay. Good, you'll be going here and enable a blockade here. There's no defenses here, so we'll just blockade it off to hopefully stop any defense from being built. And we're gonna wait for the um, for the transport. You're gonna move up here. Next turn, the other the other part of the forces will be joining you. You'll stay here. Oh, destroyers! Cool. I'll go here. And you can technically go down here and help your help your friends out. Um, just move to the jump gate here because the jump gate here will be done next turn, so they can just take the shortcut through here and don't have to cross through Heracles. All right, so you need new orders now. Yeah, I thought so. Good. We're gonna take all. Ships with good drives, which is only you guys, and move up here. Move. I will take down the rear guard. Oops, I don't want to take command actually. Anyway, just full speed ahead and kill that thing. <laughs> Frigates should be able to handle it. And they missed. The rockets missed. Cool. Alright. Good. You have nothing to do? Who requires orders? Oh, troop transports! Yeah! Good. You can start getting in there. Alright. You did that. You did that really well. I think we also need a defense uh, station here because this planet is uninhabited right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it. Would be strategically interesting, but for the time being, let's just install an outpost here. Because it technically is border territory. And more troop transports. Okay, everyone, get in there! I'm not sure what the Mechlas are doing, they're just cruising around, not really doing anything. But they did take down the defenses here, right? Right, they did. Ooh. There's really nothing going on in Nublum Prime. Don't have too many troop transports though. I'm not quite sure how many troop transports I need here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's let's try the greedy method. Let's send one troop transport over there. Hoping that this planet doesn't have any infantry at all and have it just being escorted by the frigates again. Uh, they actually have marines. Okay. Abort! Abort! Uh, well, we technically didn't attack, so I can just take the second wave. Uh, okay. Apparently, they're just, just their defenses are down because the Mechlas attacked them. Okay, thanks. So now we don't have enough for this planet though. So let's just converge. Uh, the frigates should be able to deal with the destroyers. Should the destroyers decide to go anywhere. Just stay here, wait for the transports. Talking about transports, there's some more transports coming over here. They don't have any, mar uh, any marines though. At least that one according to plan. Anyway, yay, Gauss Cannon! Woo! Cloaking device is technically interesting, but um, not against the AI. But against the other players, to cloak your fleet and not being uh, and not have them uh, being able to know where your ships are, it's probably interesting. Against the AI, it doesn't really matter that much. But Gauss Cannon! Well. Alright, I'm actually gonna change the design around in order to incorporate Gauss Cannons instead. 
just like ghost cannons. I don't have any mod mod modifiers for it yet, so I'm gonna wait one more Knowledge deposition research. Is First Titan isn't getting out right now, yeah? Right, that'll, that'll still take a while. Alright, good. Let's see what our spoils of war are doing. No, let's do Starbase first. Okay. And back here. Extreme gravity. Okay. Not sure why you actually why you're actually here, but um extreme gravity, yo. Uh, you need an alien management center, and then because you don't produce any food at all, you probably need something to help with that. Not sure how you produced food here in the first place, but, um, well, I didn't bombard it. So, it's not my fault if something is missing here. Let's buy this and remember to buy the other things too. Drip transports, okay. Get in there. And more troop transports, yeah. I'll put quite a few troop transports onto the, onto the queue. <laughs> and a new ship, a new frigate this time. Not, not a destroyer, just a frigate this time. All right. You can rejoin our. You can rejoin your friends. You need hydroponic farm. Also can't produce anything. Shiny. Mm, no, I technically stay here to defend the planet. Move up. I'm having my ships move up first because sometimes the ship stacks can behave weird. Because if I just have told, would have told the troop transport to go here, it would have joined the stack which was waiting here. And in some cases, the the, the ships that don't that haven't moved yet just decide to join the stack with the new ship that had already moved, and will not move at all then. So that they'll move at one in one bigger stack later. But if new ships are are joining them, then they can just remain there for quite a while, even though they could have technically been moving already. So that's that's why I decided to do this. Just in case you were curious. Uh, Meklar, trade treaty? We're still friends, right? We are enraptured by your transmission. Yeah, uh, that's not, 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 not many, you, uh, not many people say that. For some reason. Not sure why. I'm such a nice guy, you know? Just misunderstood. Oh, you have Megafluxes. Good for you. What do you want for Megafluxes? Um, I'm actually gonna give you 700 credits. Oops. Error four one eight. I am a peacock. Uh, what would make this work? Found conditions necessary. And <sighs> Drive a hard bargain there. The other thing that I could have chosen: plasma torpedoes and money for one technology. But I do want this technology, so sure. We but hard deals, yo. Overjoyed. Recording specifications. We are overjoyed. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, at least one. You are like a blind dog in a meat market. I don't care. You don't want to be my friend anymore. You started it, sort of. I mean, you started war against the Mechlars, knowing that, that that they were my friends. So you sort of started it. All right, but I got mega fluxes. Good. Famine, yay! Haven't had that in a while. Even though they're security level four, yeah, sure. Screw you too. And not even fucking Darlocks. Fuck that. Alright, let's install gravity generators here. Pretty expensive, but they'll not be able to do anything otherwise, I think. So, gravity generators. Alright, can move up here.
Troop transports will be arriving momentarily. Just hold your hats. Huh? Nubelon lost the unit to starvation. Uh, why? Yeah, because the one guy decided to not work. Yeah. Thank you. And the other guys that don't don't decided to not work at all too. Fucking idiots. I get not I I get not trying to uh, integrate into the evil overlords that have just that, that have just taken you over, but not being able to provide your own food, that's a little bit stupid. No, we're all starved to death, other than and, and other than uh, letting you take us. Yes, yes. Fucking idiots. All right. So you can just export. There's nothing you really need to do. Just help the other amazing colony out with their production. Yeah, let's produce some really crazy ships here. Oh yeah, let's go crazy. All right, let's send this one here. To initiate trade protocols. That's sort of a fairer deal than, than, than usual, but I guess last time I really wanted to have something from you, so don't really need battle battleoids. But basically, mechs, <laughs> uh, you can have them instead of tanks if you build armor barracks somewhere. And I'm not building armor barracks somewhere, but, um, well, we're friends. Cooperation modules engaged. I'm pissing everybody else off by being friends with him, but so far it had worked out really well for me, so I don't care. Alright, you done? Let's have some more... Uh, let's have, actually have some more destroyers. Oh, another advanced colony ship. And there's one planet here. But most races at this point won't like me anyway because I have way more planets than every everybody else. I have way more stuff than everybody else. They'll just be inclined to not like me. However, they also just they, they also don't get uh, the idea to just team up against the the one dominating opponent, which I would think would be the most logical thing to do. To just say, hey, that that guy is either gonna win or we're gonna have to team up to stop him. No, they, they continue to have fights uh, amongst themselves, which you just uh, join in then after they've after they've al already started, and uh, and then you can just uh, destroy. So, sure, the AI could be better in that. At this point, everybody should just should, should just decide to. We're, we're not gonna make deals with them. Yeah, they, they're gonna they, they, they're gonna they're, they're gonna take over all of us. So let's just uh, let's, let's just make alliances together and uh, not fight amongst ourselves. But um, the AI the AI doesn't really get that. So we have two more troop transports here now. Now we're at three. I'm not sure if that if that'll be enough, but I'm gonna give it a shot. It would be enough. Cool. We've crushed the Sakura resistance. Crush. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna be keeping those guys here. In case some um, stray Sakura ships show up. The rest will go down here soon. Once the transports are here. In order to take the last bastion of the Sakura. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, they have food problems again. Mother freaking idiots. Okay, we can go in here and put another warp. Uh, ju jump gate, jump gate. Another one's colony ship. Where do we have spare planets? Here. Radiated. Uh, we still have the one near Chrysalon. Are you building colony ship? No, you're not. Alright, then let's take the one near Chrysalon.
Okay, famine at Crystalon. Ooh, that, that'll 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 teach me. Yeah, we need more troop transport than than those two. But there are a few more coming, like two. <laughs> there are a few more coming, two. <laughs> at any rate, are there are there more coming? By the way, <laughs> I'd like some more. If you don't mind, I think for this planet I need a little bit more, and they're probably also settled down here, so I think I need like five or six, not four. Ah, so this time I'm gonna actually skip the shield, because I do sometimes use the wide area jammer for funsies. Um, you can also get a better planetary radiation shield. Not sure how much better it is, and and because nobody's really sure how the, how how well the bombs work. Actually, it's debatable if if you really need that. I mean, if you w want to make yourself uh, invulnerable against bombs, then these may texture these may help. But uh, really, uh, as I said, when you get when you get bombs thrown at you, you have other issues. Uh, so um, let's actually go with the white area jammer instead of the new shield. And we get plasma Radiation torpedo and gauss cannon modifications. Yo, good. You're actually going going gauss all by yourself. Interesting idea. I just wanted to do that myself. Crazy. All right, all right, all right. Good. Very good. Very good. Um, what else I want to change? I want to change something. Oh yeah, we have Mega Fluxes now, so I can now also include Hard Shields here. And we still technically have some space left for more missiles. How many space did I need? 80. Oh, let's just increase the stacks by one each. Alright. And you, you also have more space now. You'll actually get the warp dissipator because um, the AI t um, recently started to like to just uh, get out of the fight if they don't win it, which is understandable. But uh, I, I, I don't like it. Hey, why do I have less space now? Uh, less space now all of a sudden. Cancel. What the hell? No, it was three fifty. Okay. So in order to make it work, I guess I need to reduce the point defense a little. I also sometimes include the white area jammer in the design here. However, if I if I do that, then I really need to cut down on either the, the torpedoes or the bombs. If I really need the bombs, is a matter of debate actually. But uh, I'll just keep it as it is right now because I have enough anti-missile systems. So just saying sometimes I would use the white area jammer there so that everyone has a little bit more uh, missile evasion which especially helps the frigates because they don't have point defense if they actually get accidentally hit by missiles they're most likely what toast right of knowledge should these ones uh, any rate let's research the stuff here because we haven't done so already sort of lagging behind there so let's go there mm. yeah I'm afraid I can't upgrade all of us but let's upgrade these ships. Okay. All right, we got a new cruiser for the for the task force here. Did they already get upgrades? Is eleven the version with the new upgrades? Apparently it is. This one didn't get any upgrades for quite a while. Oh well, I need to save up some money for uh, for ship upgrades. But uh, when you're conquering stuff, then you probably need to use uh, money to um, make them not uh, starve to death immediately. So, well, not sure where you're going. We're, we're gonna take care of Neptunus. No, no need to follow us in there. So, not sure if we have enough troop transports, but we're gonna move in because apparently the main Meklar fleet is coming too, or might be coming too, not sure. They have a lot of frigates. They don't have troop transports, but they're probably trying to get in there too. Alright, let's have some destroyers for the task force here. War is the ender of 
lives. For those born tomorrow, we wish peace. No, I'm almost done fully eradicating you, so I don't see any reason for why I would want a peace treaty and you're not, not offering anything else, so no. I don't really care, man. I'm about two systems past caring, uh, past caring about you. <laughs> when I took your homeworld, it was it was sort of yeah, you don't have enough uh, enough planets to actually like be competitive. So guess I'll just take all of it. Oh, they actually haven't settled here. Idiots. Not sure why they why, why they didn't, but uh, I'll take it. All right. Good, next turn. To the end of the Sakra Brood. Unless they can give me a terribly compelling reason to not take them out. Hmm, the, the, the two destroyers there are not a terribly convincing reason for me, so let's let's move. Let's actually auto-resolve this. I don't think there's anything interesting going on there. And attack the colony. They don't even have marines down there. Freaking sodding idiots. When they tell the tale of our times, who will not the Sakura? Who'll keep us membered? Keep the story straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lost. So much about that. Alright, so uh, the Maclaws have expanded slightly, it seems, because they seem to have been taking over the system. Or at least they claim to the system, not sure. But what's with this color and if they have actually taken something there? I guess I could take a look with my frigates. They don't have anything to do either, so let's actually just send one over there and take a look at what's going on there. Well, well, in the next episode, we're going to take a look at what's going on down there. In the meantime, the Mershan and the humans seem to have both expanded into the formerly almost uninhabited western sector. Again, west is really not west, but anyway, so I'm not sure how to proceed from here. Um, I mean, the battle against uh, Mershan might be coming up at some point. I don't think we're gonna have any further issues down here. I'll probably exchange the fleets a little bit so that I don't have to refit the fleet here and uh, just change them around and then we'll be ready against the humans or the Mershan up here. So, But we'll see more about that in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.